in the Vermont Daily Chronicle today. Late morning collision between Amtrak train and a tractor trailer. Two state troopers placed on paid leave. Authorities not saying why. Critics say a proposed global pandemic treaty under review today by the World Health Organization will undermine national sovereignty. But Vermont senators are not backing a bill requiring a vote. Next, a Rob Roper analysis on how Vermont education leaders worry about the public school system, costs rising, test scores falling, and violence on the rise. One superintendent says teachers are literally scared and administrators are at a loss. WCAX reports that a manhole cover knocked askew by a snowplow led to a woman's plunging 15 feet beneath a St. Albans street. On Friday, the Chronicle broke the story about a Vermont girls basketball team taking a stand against transgender sports. And now, that story has gone viral after Jordan Peterson tweeted, It's about time to 3.7 million followers. In the Vermont legislature, S-5, called the Affordable Heating Act, will likely be voted out onto the Senate floor this week. Commentator Allison Despathy says the bill won't punish big oil, but it will hurt low-income Vermonters. Other headlines? Covered bridge struck again. Attempted murder kidnapping in the Northeast Kingdom. A man in a child custody struggle surrenders after a four-day barricade inside his home, and more human smuggling across the Canadian border. Get your free subscription at www.vermontdailychronicle.com.